time. That's uh, Mr. Peter Gabriel. Yes, indeedy. Formerly Genesis, just because it's such a, a band I love so much. Uh, Phil Collins and took over, and then now it's some other dude, and uh, the original guys are still there. But that all being said, that has nothing to do with anything whatsoever. Big time. Reason I'm calling it that, of course, is are we imagining big enough? There were some comments that uh, came in that got me thinking about this, and and for the person that was commenting, I'm, uh, you just it was a great idea for a show, and uh, and she seemed like she took it really well, so it was very cool. Uh, but it really got me thinking. I'm like, ah, you know what? I bet you a lot of people tend to do this, and I've sort of mentioned it before, but I didn't really you know spend more than maybe a minute or something on it. I didn't do like a show, so we're gonna go ahead and cover this topic from a show, and for a change, mind you. Probably something a little on the shorter side. Um, but again, imagining big enough, when we're imagining from the end, when we're imagining scenarios, when we're imagining being with our specific person, when we're imagining being with uh, whoever it is, when we're imagining our new dream home, when we're imagining a new car, new boat, new job, whatever, are we going big enough with the manifestation ima- imagery work, the imagining? Are we imagining big enough? And here's Let me give you the examples, or at least let me start small and show you what I consider to be not big enough, and then we can kind of make sense from it uh, from that point. Are you maybe just trying to manifest a text message from your specific person, thinking that if you get a text message that that somehow implies that there's a relationship, that you guys are somehow back together, that somehow you're communicating now, that you're somehow... You hear how I'm adding all this extra stuff? Because a text message is a... Text, bling, done. You have manifested exactly what you asked for. You got a text message. That's not probably what you're after. If it is, great. I would consider that on the side of manifesting green lights, manifesting parking places, and manifesting text messages. Because in my mind, manifesting a text message, really not a lot to it. Even if it's someone that you haven't heard from in a long time, great, they text you, then what? What, what 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 do you what do you want from there? What about some of us imagine just being in bed sleeping with our specific person and we use the same imaginal scene over and over and over, right? We don't add anything to it. We don't do anything extra with it. We don't enhance it. We just imagine and and Anya's brought this up. It's a great imagery. Don't get me wrong, and I'll I'll explain why I think there should be more to it or how. Um but we imagine like holding them, you know, if you're uh if you're the guy, maybe you're the one behind him, right? And you've kind of got your hands in fun places on the front side of people. <clears throat> or maybe you're the girl and you feel that, you know, like Anius was saying, a hairy chest on your on your back, right? Like you feel that that skin against you. You feel the strength of his arms, the forearms, right? His, his biceps. You feel his, you know, you just feel safe, right? He's wrapped around you and life is good and groovy. That in and of itself is not necessarily indicative of more of a relationship. There could be one of those scenarios. Maybe you guys go out one time. Maybe it's late. And maybe it's just like, you know what? Just go ahead and stay the night. We won't do any hanky-panky, nothing freaky, but just go ahead and spend the night. And, uh, you know, and tomorrow you can drive. I just don't want you driving late, right? And again, manifesting in bed is a pretty solid thing. And I wouldn't necessarily call that little by any means. It's certainly not a text message. But I think enhancing it is a good idea. Adding more to it, adding some additional steps, maybe adding some hanky-panky, maybe maybe adding the waking up process in the morning that you're holding them, and then you're waking up in the morning, and then now you're cooking breakfast together. Like, now you've got a scene where there's more of a relationship aspect going on. Have you ever tried to manifest someone calling you? I hope they call, right? I've seen people do this, by the way, and this is my favorite, and this one cracks me up, and I've actually manifested this too before. Um, manifest somebody calling you and I've actually gotten the butt dial, right? They somehow ought to accidentally call you from their phone. So all you hear is like noise or they're driving in their car and you hear some sort of strange car noise or whatever the case is. They didn't mean to call you, but it counts. You manifested a phone call. Let's be a little more specific. What do we want? Do you want a phone call or do you actually want a relationship? What are you imagining? Are you asking to maybe see them in person? right? I just want to see them in person. This is what I'm imagining. I'm imagining seeing them. I just see them, right? That's my imagery work. So I see them and I imagine this over and over and over. And then like a week later, they go walking by. There you go. You saw them. Good job. You manifested a parking place, basically. 
So what I'm thinking is, go big or go home, as they constantly talk about. Make it huge. Make it big. Make it significant. Maybe you have you guys kissing, right? Because when you're kissing, there's a lot more going on than just a text message or walking by. Maybe you imagine making love. Imagine the detail. Imagine the love. Imagine looking in the eyes and the hair hanging down. At least that's the way I like to imagine it. <clears throat> Maybe a shower together. Why do I sound like a major pervert right now? Bye-bye. Probably because I've been thinking about my specific person a lot lately. Um, but again, imagine yourselves in the shower. Personally, I love showers. I love showering with people. I just think it's a heck of a lot of fun. Certainly more fun than showering alone. No question about it. Um, you know, I know there's times where maybe that's not the best thing in the world because you got your things you got to do or whatever. But, you know, if it's not one of those days where you got to shave your legs or something, right? Boom, I'm in there. I'll help you watch, wash all your, all your front and backs. You know, I'm there for your for your washing needs, sweetheart. That's that's what I do, you know? So again, are you imagining stuff that basically implies there's a lot more going on than a text message or walking by? Woo, exciting. What about this? What about having a child together? Have you imagined them giving birth, you giving birth, whichever direction, probably most likely with most of my audience being female, you giving birth and him standing there and holding your hand through it, maybe having his hand on your hair, right? And just, you know, being there through the whole experience. And hopefully not passing out when things finally happen, right? Again, are we imagining the scene far enough? What about the wedding? What about your infamous wedding day? When you see him coming down the aisle, don't just imagine a wedding. Imagine him walking down the aisle to you. Or imagine, sorry, imagine you walking down the aisle to him. I, I uh, you know, got backwards on that one. Because as a guy, I'm always imagining myself standing at the altar waiting for her, right? So again, burned into my head, but uh, for you, right? Imagine walking down. Maybe you're with your dad or whoever the heck, right? And you're walking down to your husband-to-be, and there he is on the altar or in front of the judge, or <laughs> however you're going to imagine your situation. But again, imagine that. That's pretty darn significant, right? If we're having a wedding day together, I would say we're very, very much together in a relationship versus a text message, right? Or walking by as I keep beating up. Uh, the sleeping in bed together can be fun. I would, again, just to go back to that one, I would have that for sure, but then I would include, like I said, the breakfast in the morning, uh, maybe maybe a follow-up uh, sleeping in a motel or a hotel or whatever, you know, like a nicer place. Motel makes it sound cheesy, so I don't mean it like that, but like you're traveling, right, and you're sleeping together because you're traveling together, so maybe you imagine a road trip, and then you kind of pulling up to a place that you're going to stay or a bed and breakfast or uh, you know, an Airbnb or whatever the heck, right? Or Airbnb, whatever they call them, where, where you, you know, maybe it's like some fancy little special occasion that you want to imagine up. So again, that sleeping together concept can be wrapped within an envelope of a great deal more exciting uh, and wonderful things. Or have you thought about maybe picking a home together, right? Walking across the threshold, maybe him carrying you across the threshold as they frequently do in that first house together. But imagine the walking through homes together with him and being like, oh, this is perfect. So now on top of imagining your dream home, you're also including them in the dream home selection. And again, you're building a much, much larger reality together than just texting or walking past you, right? Are we imagining big enough. Take it up a notch, no matter where you're at with it, frankly. Even if you've already got some pretty crazy stuff, all right, cool. You're you're super advanced. Let's kick it up a notch anyway. There's there's your challenge, right? Little little Miss uh, uh, A-plus person that's got it all imagined out down to the nitty-gritty. All right, let's add a little extra something-something to it. But if you're the person that's imagining the text message, well, give me more. Give me more, right? Imagine something else. Imagine a larger situation. Uh, imagine a date that you go on together. Imagine them just calling you out of the blue and be like, hey, do you want to go out? That would be really awesome if we could spend some time together. Maybe we can go see a movie and, uh, and get dinner, right? Like imagine sitting next to him in a movie theater, right? And you got the thing of popcorn on his lap or your lap, wherever you want it to be, right? And then, you know, holding hands or whatever the case is, right? Imagine it. Go big. Go big or go home, as we frequently like to say, or certainly as people in Texas like to say, because it's a very large state, even though it's not the biggest, but it is very, very large. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully that makes a difference. I just barely over 10 minutes. That's pretty rocking. That's got to be a treat for some of these friggin' 20-minute ones I've been doing <laughs> lately. So uh, that all being said, we're um, trying to make it big, try to make it awesome, and try to take it to that next level. 
Uh, came in, like I said, with Big uh, big Time by Peter Gabriel. Kind of keeping in the big genre. We're going to be going out with a song by Rush called Big Money. Stay in radio style. <laughs> 